In this video, we will learn how to use the debugger uh, to debug line by line our code. Let's first uh, uh, like scan this code. We have here something that say uh, printing debugging, then a line that's reading some uh, string, and then casting it to an integer. Then we have some variables to initialize, and then while loop that is just summing the start uh, in every step. So overall, we have a program that is just summing one to n that we already did before. Uh, let's make a simple run. So we can run here, run course, then let's enter five. So the output should be fifteen, which is the sum from one to sum from one to five. So far, we used to right click and click run course or come here and click on this uh, run button. But today, we will learn how to debug it. To debug, you have several choices. You can right click here and select the debug course. Or from the menu select the course which is the file name here and then click this symbol that looks like a, a bug also you see it's like uh, have a, a shortcut here which is shift F9 or from the menu here you can come and say uh, the bug and then go to the configuration and run it so for now let's go ahead and uh, start to debug our code um, right click and say the bug it's see right 5 15 nothing happened what what is missing the missing is what we call a breakpoint. A breakpoint is where the debugger uh, stop. So let's come here and double click. Oh, just one click. You see this uh, red point? It is a, a, a debugging breakpoint. So now let's run here and see what's going to happen. Debug. So the first thing is we moved to uh, a, new, uh, a new console here. What we call a debug console notice here observer there are other things here down here the uh, first one is the terminal this is just the uh, like your terminal in the uh, in the system you can write for example ls here uh, you can cd something this is exactly as you come here and right click and open new terminal in in linux for example the second tab here is the python console and this is a, an active python window like you can so come here on one plus two and get get three uh, it, it depends on the environment like for example my current console here is uh, for something called Anaconda we didn't install uh, maybe your uh, system here would be more of uh, the default system installation so for example you can come here and say Python dash dash version this might be d very different from the one on the um, the one on uh, on by charm it depends on your installation at the moment given that you just did simple installation then the system one from here is the as same as the one here but be careful in the future when things get complicated this one can be different than this one and the third tab here is the run tab which we used to see and now we are in a new tab called uh, the debugging tab or debug tab there are two important things here the first one is the debugger which is telling you in which line you are now you can right click here it's going to show different stuff uh, this would be useful for us when we learn uh, functions and the second important one is the console this is showing you your console step by step now the interesting is your code now is at line 2 and you see here there are a few very important buttons one of them is this guy step over f8 and another one is a step into and the last one here is a step out we will take step into and step out when we learn about functions. For now, our focus is about the step over. Now, the debugger is at this line. Observe, if I click step over from one side, the debugger moved to line number four. From on the other side, line number, uh, the output here has the word debugging. So now, keep in mind, debugger means to, to iterate in your, in your code line by line to see the result of it. Now what's going to happen if we executed this line? There is a message here to enter number. Observe the buttons now aren't clickable because the debugger is waiting an input for you. So let me let me enter here five. Now the debugger is active again. Observe here the n it seems here like has a value five as a string. If you with your mouse come here and stop the over the n, it's going to show you it should show us something yeah you see here str5 let's take one more step which is casting an integer now it became in as an as an integer 
now more variables are 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 visible now like start and sum you see they take some values and then we get inside the loop step by step we start to sum step by step start to sum so the advantage here we can know what is exactly happening in our code whenever i give you some solution homework that is confusing for you the best is to start to use a debugger to see what's happening so sum so far is 6 which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and the start is so far at 3 and so on you, you keep going you see here for example start is less than n i can come and take all of this expression and i can evaluate it here in the console here the last button the last button before the guy with, with an arrow you click over it now i can i can i can click here to see what is a start to less than or equal n it show it's true what is a start it's four what is a start plus um start plus 10 it you uh, uh what's the red set about identification start plus 10 so the moral of that is here in this uh, console area you can even uh, play with your code not just seeing it here and this is very useful so the code is keep going here now let's see what happening i'm, I'm clicking up 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 you see still the condition is true so it will get n one more time up arrow it's now false so now it's going to jump out of it so finally it's printing that uh, sum is 15 here so as you see we managed to uh, like uh, move in our code uh, line by line and step by step uh, this is the basic of uh, debugging uh, let's get in more complicated things the first thing is you can make several jump breakpoints and jump between them. So let's start our code here, for example, and let's debug. Um, I'm now at line two. I would like to jump directly to line eight. You can come in here and click on this button. Be careful, this one, not this one, this one here, and say jump. So it's going to jump to line eight, but in the middle we need to enter an input, say enter five, and then you see now we jump at this uh, line of code. And many times we don't have to trace our code line by line. We we are suspecting a specific line of code. So we just put a breakpoint and this line and jump to it. Again, I can come back here and say I'm put just this breakpoint. I can remove this breakpoint. If I, I if I click here uh, on the run, it's going to jump directly to the sum. So now the sum is integer 15. So this is the first thing that you can have multiple breakpoints. Okay, let's end that. I'm going to show you something that is much much more stronger let's start here with the breakpoint here if I put the breakpoint here the the in the and run the program let's do it and enter the 5 is going to show you to start here at sum with 0 and start with uh, 1 now let's terminate that I'm going to show you a very strong thing that we call conditional breakpoint in a conditional breakpoint, we jump directly to a specific condition. Come here, right click. You see this point, suspend here can suspend your, uh, sorry, enable can to end, like make a breakpoint not activated, but not our uh, story now. Right click and, and condition. The con you can put a condition where the breakpoint stop at this one only. I can say, write something like um, stop only when sum equal equal six done you see there is like a question mark here now let's run again enter number five now the value is sum now is six so what happened is we jumped not only to a specific line of code we jumped to a specific line of code when we have a specific condition a specific one um, more interesting stuff in uh, Python let's uh, show here Let's, let's run this guy and then let's enter 5 now the value of a start is 1 and the n is 5 one of the interesting things is we can change values in the fly and this is very useful like you run your code and you discover that the value of something is wrong you don't have to stop your code and, and fix it you can you can change values on the fly so now we know that n is 5 and the output should be 5 um, it should be five, uh, 15 right so I can sum here and come for n 
equal 100 for example now let's run you see what happened it computed a very different value which changed the value of n on the fly let me uh, let me show you something more interesting what would happen if we remove this start variable from here and we try to run this program will fail right it will tell you that the start isn't defined so let's say that you are at this line of code and you would like to uh, you would like to debug it here and then before running the next line let let me try to play like I, I do that personally I evaluate things step by step before running and say I, I do this say oh start is is isn't defined now I recognize it isn't defined there are two choices one can stop his program and add the start but I can come and and even add this variable here on the fly so now the variable start now is defined so now we can keep going on our program and the print it in a very normal way uh, it skipped the output but you can keep going in the in the computation of your code so the moral of that you can even um, even add variables on the fly if you needed to that the last couple of things um, is uh, is expressions so you can write come come here it's as same as a console let's say um, right click and say evaluate expression it's going to give you this expression click evaluate it's going to show you the value you can even play with it more like maybe start plus one for example as you like so this is one thing you can do and also another thing is that what you can right click on the start for example and say um where is it there was something here to add to the watch uh no 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 okay mm -mm -mm. add to watches so you see here this variable is a set of the variable that you see in this watch so it, it can tell you what's happening step by step so uh it might be more more convenient as you see the sum is changing here uh that's all if it happened that you closed this uh, window by mistake, you can come back here to this button and just click it to come back again for you. That's all.